Once again, good morning and welcome to our class. We are now in lesson 2.3. We have two more lessons before chapter two will end. And lesson 2.3 is about shifting parabolas. We know that in the first lesson, we have talked about quadratic functions. And in lesson 2.2, we have talked that a quadratic function can be graphed. And a graph, and its graph is called a parabola. The parabola can either open upwards or it, or it can also open downwards. And for this lesson, we'll be shifting parabolas. Let's move the parabolas left, right, up, down, narrower, and wider. To start with, let's recite our memory verse. Today's memory verse is found in Psalm 51, verse 10. It says, Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Now, this is connected to our MVCA boosters. Please do not forget to answer your MVCA boosters, especially among our online students. Please, um, with, and also with our modular students, the MVCA boosters will help you gain more extra points for the lesson. And our MVCA boosters is on praying for a shift. David prayed for a clean heart and renewed spirit. What shift in his life is he praying for? Then you will search for another Bible character who also prayed for a shift and write his or her prayer below. Now, at the end of this lesson, we'll be able to analyze the effects when we change the values of A, H, and K in the equation Y equals A quantity X minus H squared plus K of a quadratic function on each graph. Now, can you tell me, let's have, first have our venture activity. This, the first graph, the graph in red is the graph for x squared, x minus one squared plus one. Can you tell me how is the graph of the next one different from the first? Ready? If you want to answer, raise your hands first. Okay, I see MJ. Yes, MJ. How is the graph different from the first one? It's because of the negative two, ma'am. Uh, okay. It's different. Because of the negative two. Very good. Now, what happened to the graph MJ? What happened to this graph from here? This one is more lower, and this one is little upper because of the numbers oh. okay that's a good point um oh. other answers what is the difference between the first graph and the second graph yes isabel the difference is the vertex oh the vertex very good the vertex is in one one here it's in two one very good so what happened did it move Yes. Where? To what direction? Downwards. Ah, oh, down. Oh, I think you see it all downwards because the that's this. You see the starting is different, and the space is also different. Yes, very good. But actually, it's not downwards. If this is one one, this is two one. It moves here. So the graph moves to the right. Now, how about the next one? Same. First graph. Okay. How about for the next one? Ready? How is the graph of the original one? The x minus quantity x minus one squared plus one different from here. 
Eddie, yes, MJ, you raised your hand. You tell me what movement did it make? It's it's in the end point, ma'am. Nilai tungod sa yahagya pong numbers. I think it's because of the Y intercept. Ah, very good. The Y intercept here. It's in zero two. This time it's in zero five. Very good. AP. Yes, other ideas. Yes, AP. Yes, ma'am. You raised your hand. Oh, you're in mute, AP. Sorry, I didn't do it hand. Okay. So, so now, let's have more of the shifting of these parabolas. And after this, I'll show you with another, uh, what's this, with a software. So now, let's start with the lessons on shifting parabolas. The first one happens when there is a change in the value of k. Let me have my pen first. Remember, our vertex form is f of x equals x minus h squared plus k. Now, if this one is being changed, then our graph could move up or down. If k is greater than zero, our graph moves upwards. But if our k is less than zero, then our graph moves downwards. For example, here, check on this one. The original is in red. It's y equals x squared plus one. Actually, if you have y equals x squared, if we have our table of values, remember in grade eight, X and Y, if X is zero, Y is zero. If Y is one, then one squared. If X is one, one squared, our Y is one. If X is negative one, that's negative one squared, then our Y is still one. If our y x squared if our x is two substitute two squared two times two our y is four and if our x is negative two that's negative two squared our y is still four so basically our graph will be zero zero negative one one and negative two there four negative two four but you can just have three points it's okay so for example we take this point one two and three you look at here plus one so it means that the three points will move one point or one coordinate up so from here move one one from this from here you move one one from here you move one there and if we have plus two it means we move our graph two steps upwards example here one two next the next point one two the next point one two there and if we have minus negative one, our graph will move downwards. Ma'am, will it make will it be bigger or smaller? No, the graph is still the same. The same, what's this? The same in the curve. The only difference is it moves up and down, up and down. So example negative two. So from your original graph, it moves two steps lower. One, two. Here, one, two. The last one, one, two. So again, when the K, when the K changes, your graph can either move upwards or downwards. Let me show you with a graphing calculator. For example, 
here. This is a graph for, uh, can you see this one? F of X equals X squared. Let's add. That's F of X equals X squared minus five. Well, you see from here at zero, zero, you move five steps down. So one, two, three, four, five. That's the vertex. Where's one, one? Here, one, negative one, negative one, one. Five steps downwards. One, two, three, four, five. Here. How about the other one, one? Let's move five steps downwards. One, two, three, four, five. So again, when the K changes and the value of K is a negative number, your graph moves down. Let's try it with the upwards, ready? F of X equals X squared plus four. Let's see there. It is the original. We move up of one, two, three, four. That's the vertex. How about one, one? One, two, three, four. Same. And the other vertex, the other point. One, two, three, four. So again, if the changes is in K, then it our graph can move up or down. Questions? No questions? Let's go to the next one. Now, what if X, uh, H will change? Remember, we are in F of X equals X minus H squared plus K. If our H will change, then our graph can move to the left or to the right. Now, if our H is positive, then our graph will move to the left. How many steps? It depends on how many units are added to H. And if our H is negative, then our graph will move to the right. So for example, if our given is x squared, if we have another one like x minus one squared, where will it move? Up, down, left, or right? Can you tell me in the chat box? Up, down, left, or right? Oh, MJ, <laughs> stop writing first. I let you write afterwards. We move to the right. Very good. But if we have x plus 2 squared, here it's positive. Then we move to the left. Let's have an example. Still the same. Again, the first thing is you can plot here, zero, zero, one, one, negative one, one, sorry, and one, one. Here's the given, x plus one squared. What's the difference? There's plus one. H becomes positive. So we move to the left. Now let's move to the left. I'll use another pen color. So you will see the difference here. From this one, we move one step to the left. So one. Next. The next point, one. The next point, one. So there. And you will draw a graph. Let me have another example with another pen color. Example. We have y equals x plus um, 2 squared. So it means I'll move two steps to the left. Where will I base it? In the original, the x squared. So I'll move two steps to the left. One, 
two. Next point. One, two. Next point. Where's the last? Here. One, two. Okay. Then I'll connect the three points. Sorry, I am not so good in drawing. <laughs> Sorry. There. And place an arrow in the end. So actually, it looks like a curve, not a V, okay? It should look like a curve. What if I'll have another one? Like, for example, here, X minus 1. It's negative, so we move to the right. We check. From here, 1 to the right. Next, next point, 1. Last point, this one, one. Then connect them. Again, if our H is positive, move to the left. If our H is negative, move to the right. Now, if you want to explore more, you can use the graphing calculator. For example, again, this is now our X squared. Let's add f of x equals x, sorry, x minus 5. Remember, x minus 5 squared. Therefore, that's 5 units to the right. So from here, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. That's our vertex, about 1, 1. Next, one, two, three, four, and five. This one. And the last point at one, one. One, two, three, four, and five. Then you can draw, actually, you can have more points to move. How about let's add another. You have f of x plus x plus three. Let's change the color first. I don't like the color. White. Here. There, so in violet, that's x plus 3 squared, so plus 3, positive 3, it moves to the left, let's move, 1, 2, 3, next point, 1, 2, 3, then last point, 1, 2, and 3, so that's how you do it, again, let's have a very brief review, once k will change, it could go up for positive and down for negative. Once H will change, it could go left for positive and right for negative. How about the wider and the narrower? Now, if your A, let's remember, here is the formula. F of X equals to a quantity x minus h squared plus k. Now, if your whole function is multiplied by a positive number, like this one, then your graph will become narrower. But if your a is multiplied by a number between 0 and 1, then your graph will become wider. For example, you have f of x equals x squared. If I'll have another one, like 5x squared, then my graph will move wider. Uh, sorry, narrower. But if I'll multiply this to 1 fifth x squared, then my graph will go wider. 
For example, this one. The red one is the one in x squared. If I multiply it with a number of three, it will go narrower here. Now, how will it work? Actually, here's how you can do it. For this one, we have, let me change my pen color first. We have zero, zero, negative one and one, and one, one. If you multiply it by three, actually it's the Y, the Y that changes. The X remains the same. So for example, zero. Zero times three, it's still zero. Negative one. One times three, it's three. Then let's have one, the last one. One times three, three so if you check the blue the blue graph is the zero zero negative one three and positive one three it's narrower compared to the original graph but if we multiply our graph our function by negative one third positive one third then our graph will go wider no ma'am what if there's a combination between two or more functions or two or more changes like the k changes and the h changes then we do a combination of both for example here we base it from our original our original is oh sorry Our original is x squared. So let's check. Plus four, it means, where's the direction? Can you tell me in the chat box? Plus four. Where will our graph move? Oh, very good, Zarek. It will move upwards, four steps upwards. Negative two. Where will our graph move? In the chat box, can you tell me? Very good. It will move to the right. So it will, again, two steps to the right and four steps up. Let me first have my points. Actually, you just identify three points in your graph. Let me change my pen color for the next one. Ready? It says two steps to the right. Let's have point one. One, two, and four steps up. One, two, three, four. Here's my vertex. Next, point number two. Two steps to the right. One, two, and four steps up. One, two, three, four. There. Next, the last point, point three. Two steps to the right. One, two, and four steps up. One, two, three, four. Then connect the dots in a curve. This is now our graph. Another one, the last example. Okay, let's have plus two in the chat box. Can you tell me where will it move? Plus two. Oh, very good. It will move up. How about plus three? X plus three. Where will it move? Up, down, left, right. Down. Mm -hmm. Plus up. three. This is the H. It will down. move to the left. Again, AP, it moves up and down if here. Though this is the one that changes. This is the up and down, the K. The H is left and right. So we say 
it will move to three steps to the left and two steps up. So what do we do? Let's check. Let me first identify the first three points. Ready? This is zero, zero, negative one and one, and one, one. Let's move two steps up, then three steps to the left. Let's start from the vertex. One, two, up and left. One, two, three. Here's the vertex. Next, point number two. Two steps up. One, two, and three steps to the left. One, two, three. There. And point three. Two steps up. One, two, and three steps to the left. One, two, three. There. Connect them. That is now our graph. Any questions?